Describe what happened <clears throat> or what's inside the cup. It looks like sand. It's very gritty. It's, it doesn't look appetizing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Okay. I know him. His name is Ronnie. <laughs> Okay, so can you describe what uh, what what's in what's the hole? There's a hole out there. Oh, there. You can see. It. <laughs> no, you, you don't want to do this. No, <laughs> you want to make a mess. <laughs> but you'll never be filled. So. Oh wow! Oh. 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 Okay. So you will okay. give a mess. No mess. That's our member. You know, membership. <laughs> Group <of> membership. <laughs> Don't okay. Yourself. <laughs> okay, so and what's, what happened to your cup? Uh, mine is totally fine. There's nothing in it. There's no hole. It is a, a perfect cup. Okay, a perfect cup. Okay, so now. Uh, I would like to ask three gentlemen. Uh, if you would like to drink the water, from the cup. Right? There, there's only one option, drinking water from the cup. Really, really happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, who would most likely to drink it from the cup? Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, yeah, of course. <laughs> So what if if you if you are going to drink, how what are See, you going to drink? I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> See so that I think I can do that seriously, then I can drink. Oh okay. Right. Do you want to try? Sure. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Do you want you can drink drink yeah. water? Please. Hi anyway. hi okay. drink yourself because it's See so that? hot. Oh, that, but it's that's that's good enough. Yes, yes. But my finger is wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his finger is finger. Oh, it's too wet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not a good idea. Okay. Then, what is your solution by drinking uh, water from a cup? Dump out the sand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then what else? Rinse out the cup. Oh, rinse out the cup. Yes, of course. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and then is it uh, will it be clean? I think it'll be clean enough. Uh, okay, yeah. So it will be clean. Okay. So uh, uh, thank you. So you can have the bottle water. <laughs> thank you. That's your your price. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. There are three cups. So, what do you think that that the star uh, that the story tells you? Water pollution. So we don't have to drink this. The, yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's drink. Yeah. Yes. So we have to have a clean water. The second one is waste. We've got the wasting water. The hole in it. Uh, yeah, it will be wasting water, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yes? If you want to mark something, the third cup would have you more with the heat. The first mm -hmm. one, you have a lot of reaction and lots of heat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's right. The second cup, you learn a little cheap, you forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The third one. Yeah, yes. She learned. She learned uh -huh. uh, the, the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But she, she wants to share with us. Oh yes, yes. Okay. So uh, actually, this uh, this this story is come from actually uh, also it's from um, it's kind of like a variety uh, stories and other stories comes from. Uh, Buddha's uh, Buddha's uh, stories. So um, 
it is, it is, it is it, I think, let me see. It is come from Master Yi Shun's book, The Way to Buddhahood, instructions from a modern Chinese master. Okay, so they tells, he tell, told, tells us that uh, the container is just like us. Okay. So when we are learning, we have to have to become a perfect cup. So we can, you know, we can get what, uh, whatever we learn, okay. whole, the whole one. And so the leaking cup is something that is like, if you're not paying attention, you're, you know, some knowledge will flow away. Okay. So like uh, when you're thinking of something in the lectures, and then it will be, you know, it, it, it will never build, it will just lose. Okay. So, um, so, or you, you, yeah, that is, that is the leaking cup. And the dirty cup is kind of like uh, your preconceptions or your, or your prejudice, your bias. Okay. So it will make the, you know, the water undrinkable. It's, it's still dirty. So the knowledge will yeah, it will get dirty also, yeah. or it will, the, the pure knowledge will become you know, some will be you know, distorted by your uh, bias or prejudice or anything that's inside uh, yourself. And so we have to be the perfect cup. Okay. So uh, so actually uh, these three. Um, Three hands-on uh, uh, experiments or, or, or demonstration that you can say uh, are very, very good to you know doing lectures or having some uh, teaching kids or, or just like uh, right now. So uh, actually, if you want to uh, bring this back to your schools, your uh, seminars, your uh, panels, your um, any speech, you're, you may do so. There's no copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Release copyright. Okay. <laughs> but, okay, please give credit to the Buddha. <laughs> okay. So, um, so um, there are some, another one I would like to share with us, uh, to be with you. Uh, from my own experience. <laughs> so uh, we know that the water is kind of like a cleansing agent. Very handy, very useful. It, 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 it's not chemical. Uh, it is very, you know, it's abundant. So uh, we use water to mop our floor, uh, to clean our doors, to flush our toilets. So we use that. So when I visit this, this kind of like some some of the inspiration. We can, I cannot say this enlightenment. The inspiration. This inspiration uh, comes to me uh, when I was mopping the floor. So uh, I was I was serving in LA, another temp, French temple of peace. Actually, it is a, the headquarter of peace. And so uh, I, I used to mop the a floor, just like this, uh, the room like this big, without tables, without chairs, okay. easy to clean, right? Like, so I mop, <coughs> so I love mopping. Right? So when I mop, and I discover that the mopping job never will never get done. <laughs> you know, uh, if, you're, uh, you're, if you, you have an experience cleaning your house, you know that it will never get done or perfect. Why? Uh, do, you have, do you want to share your own painful experience? <laughs> okay. but, uh, anyway, but, so um, why? Okay. That, that's my inspiration. When there are some spots that is very obvious, of course. So of course we are going to, you know, like uh, get rid of it first. And then next, you will discover, oh, there is another spot there. Why should 
why shouldn't I, you know, why did I, didn't I, um, you know, uh, discover that? So I just clean that. And when I turn on, around, and the other one is uh, at my back. So, and so, uh, never been done. <laughs> it's kind of like taking you whole life to do that. But I mean, uh, gradually I discovered that it is because when a major spot, when there, there are some major spots, so when we clean the major spots off, then the minor spot becomes the major <laughs> spot. <laughs> okay. And when you clean them, you know, the, the, the minor spot, and the second minor will become the ninth major. So that will take, you know, the you know the ladies or the wives to do a lot of cleaning. So gentlemen, don't think that your wife is not doing anything at, in your house. <laughs> we are very we are very, working very hard <laughs> to keep the household clean. Okay, so so uh, I uh, it is kind of like um, us when we are practicing, or it is kind of like uh, learning something. So we are cleaning, by, we're cleaning, of course, of, uh, like when we are cleaning our dirty minds, when we are cleaning something that is not very good, especially our mind. And uh, when we, are get, we get rid of something that is major, and that's the minor one will become the major one. So, uh, but sometimes we will feel that it is not, uh, Am I progressing? And we will feel very discouraged. But actually, you are you are progressing because you have already getting rid of those major ones. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, uh, so uh, making major ones and then your floor will become more clean. There may be some small minor things, okay, small spots, <coughs> tiny spots, but uh, sometimes it doesn't matter now. Okay, so maybe just you can leave it there for a while. Maybe after that you can deal with it. Okay, focus it. Okay. So um, I hope that uh, will help. Uh, of course, your household don't feel discouraged when you're cleaning, okay, and also when we are learning. Uh, Buddhism, especially practicing. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, of course, some you know, bad ideas, uh, <coughs> some negative emotions, negative thoughts, but uh, don't feel discouraged because uh, it is a very natural process of cleaning your mind. Okay, so cleaning your major ones and then your minor ones and then the second minor one. Okay, then Eventually, you will get cleaned, and so uh, that is my uh, my own experience that I would like to share with you. And so, uh, last one, I would like to conclude uh, from a story okay, from the Buddha. So, uh, my master have a slogan. It's called "Two Acts of Goodness." So, remember the first story, the salt? Right. So, uh, we have to do the you know, good, good karma, right? Good actions. So, uh, he had a guidance, three actions, three actions of goodness. So, do good deed, speak good words, and have good thoughts. Very simple. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but it is very hard. Okay, <laughs> you have to keep in these three, I mean, every moment, ah, very hard. Right? But, but this is very simple. Right? Uh, but we are way on that hard path, so don't worry. Right? So, uh, and this one is uh, taught by uh, the, the story that I would like to share uh, is about is, uh, the story uh, in the Buddha's time. Right? So there was a king who has sponsored uh, the Buddha. 
very much. And he, he was a Buddhist also in, in India. And so um, and he has sponsored the monasteries. He has, uh, has a lot of good policies. You know that good policies is very, uh, very crucial. Uh, and building the nation, and he has, uh, you know, being a good king. But he, uh, so when we are when you when we are doing good, right? We should be very content. We should be very happy, without doubt. But if there is only one problem that bothers him a lot. What is the problem? It is what is his future. Future means maybe. One day after uh, tomorrow, or one month, one year, ten years, maybe hundred years, maybe the one uh, you know the life after death. Of course, for for our beliefs, life after death. So, uh, what was his future will be? So he got, um, you know, this this troubles. This troubled him a lot. So one day he uh, he went to see the not the doctor <laughs> to see the Buddha and asked the question his, his questions. And the Buddha didn't tell him answered him you know like directly. Oh, King, your future will be this 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 implant. No, no. no. <clears throat> he, instead, he pointed. A tree outside of the house, and said, "Your Majesty, did you see the tree? Yes. So if what if the tree grows day to day to eastward? What in what direction does the tree falls? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> so in what is eastward growing eastward?" And then in what direction it will it will fall? East. Uh, yeah, yes. Now we can know that it is the law of gravity, right? <laughs> anyway, it's not about science. Okay. So how about westward? In what direction does the does the tree falls? West. Okay. Yeah. And so the the Buddha said, yes, so the tree is like this. We our future is goes the law like this also. So when we grow ourselves gradually, day by day, to good to more goodness, then our future will be bright, will be um, clean, will be better. What if we have we grow ourselves to the bad side in our you know you know our destiny will be some someplace else. Okay. So uh, here, as we are talking about water, we have to, uh, of course, we have to conserve it. Yeah. So this is not, uh, of course, it is abundant, especially in in Missouri, in Saint Louis, but not in LA. Okay. So it is abundant, but we still have to treasure it. Just like uh, we have a good family, but we still have to treasure it. We have to, we still have to put our effort on it. Okay? So it will be keeps. It's kind of like sustainable. It will be keeping its life. Okay? So uh, I hope that uh, in of course we have to do some actions to keep uh, to conserve the energy, to conserve the water, to keep the water clean. So we will have a cleaner streets. Okay, so uh, in, on behalf of uh, the Buddhist temple, I hope that uh, your future will be bright and happy because we have done a lot of goodness. Okay, so do three the actions of goodness, and then we will have a better life. Okay, thank you very much.